Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And um, one of the things I hear regularly about SDRs is, oh, well, you know, I'm not interested in looking at a screen to uh, listen to my favorite shortwave broadcasts, which is actually untrue because of the fact that it uses a computer and that there's a display on the screen. People are under the impression that you have to, the way that you use these radios is you constantly look at the screen. I don't. That's not the way it works. It works like a regular radio. Um, I think the fact that there's a screen maybe um, also adds to the misunderstanding of how we use them. The screen is there for information about what we could see and when you're DXing, when you're searching for signals. You know, say I want to go to the 20 meters amateur band, I'm going to enter a frequency like 14200. I'm going to put myself in upper sideband. And what I'm going to do is simply look at the 20 meter band and see if there's activity. That's where we look at the screen because we're searching for a signal. So for example, there's a Morse code signal right here. Let's check it out. Here we go. And I know because that waterfall tells me. And of course, this here is FT8 on 14074. And if there's other activity, any SS single sideband signal, uh, anyone talking, I'll see it here too. And I can tune that signal at the same time. I want to check out what's available in the 40 meter band. Of course, that's when I'm going to look at the screen. I want to see what is on the 20 meter band. And let's zoom in and check more. That is the time when, here we go, there's a signal here, we're going to click on it, there we go. So here you have a ham, so you know, you could see the activity on the 40 meter band in this case. When you're tuning around, DXing, searching for signal, that's when you're looking at a screen, which is the same thing on a portable radio or a desktop radio. What are you doing when you're tuning around on your radio? You're looking at your radio. You're looking at the frequency of your radio. You're always looking at what the radio is tuning and what you're searching for. So you look at the radio as much as you look at the screen of an SDR, but not more. Because once I've tuned, say this is what I want to listen to right now. I'll just put the volume at a comfortable level and do something else. I'm listening to a radio. I'm not looking at the screen. There's no information on this screen with this signal that is of interest uh, once I tune it and I listen to it for the most part. So you don't look at a computer screen for your radio listening. You look at a computer screen only when you're tuning around, when you're searching for signals. Same thing with a radio. You will be looking at your radio when you tune around. You're not looking in the air. It's the same thing. Once your radio is tuned to a signal you want to hear, what are you going to do? You leave your radio on a table, on a bench, whatever, and you do something else, but you listen to the audio. Same with the SDR. Once you tune something you want to listen to, you leave it alone, you listen to the audio, you do something else. You're not constantly looking at the computer screen. So this is also something that I hear often. People have the impression that you have to look at that screen all the time when you're listening. It's not a case at all. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.